Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to do a tutorial for you for the Berry Stitch Window Pane Blanket. I um, have made this for my second grandchild who is on the way and it's a little boy. And if you'll remember, I made Jack's um, little blanket that's called Window Pane Puff. So this is a similar pattern to what we have on our website. This blanket though, I chose Peyton's Grace to work with. This is my first time working with this cotton and I actually really enjoyed it after I got the hang of it. It is 100% mercerized cotton, which I believe means that there's just a little bit of sizing in it and uh, helps it really maintain the, sh the shape of the stitch. Plus it's a little bit shinier than regular cotton. I needed 12 balls of these. They're really quite small. And my tip to you is to make sure you buy all 12 or even get 15 just to be safe all at once because they do have different dye lots I have found. I had to pick up a second batch and there's just a slight difference in the, not really the, well, yeah, the color too. I, you really can't see it. You won't be able to see it on camera but you can see it, um, I can see it. Anyway, you will need a size G hook or you might want one even smaller, which is called an F, 3.75, four point millimeter. Just depends on your personal tension. So we're going to start with a pattern repeat of any number times 10, plus six. So I have on my chain, or I've chained 26 chains. For the blanket, you will chain 166 chains, and that's for approximately 34 inches to 35 inches across. I am starting with the smaller hook, but you'll want to chain and see where you're at. That's why this little practice swatch is gonna be really good. I started out with the G hook and my chain was just too loose. And then as the blanket built, I had like a loose chain. So I decided to start with a smaller hook and then I switched, but that might not be the case for you. Okay, we are going to start in the second chain from the hook with a single crochet. Now let's learn the berry stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, then yarn over and just pull through one. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now yarn over and pull through all five of those loops on your hook. Don't worry, we'll do it again. Now every berry stitch is always followed by a single crochet. That helps lock the stitch down and kind of pop it out. These are little subtle little nubs. Berry stitch again. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one loop. Then yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all five of those loops now followed with a single crochet. Okay, I'm gonna, let's work one more berry stitch and then you are alternating these all the way across the row. So here we go, berry stitch, yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, insert into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all five of those loops. Follow that with a single crochet. Okay, how did you do? 
your very last stitch should have ended in a single crochet. So now we just chain one and turn. And here's what all my little berries look like, separated with a single crochet. And now let's work one more row of, I mean not, now we need to work one row of all single crochet. So this is your little rest, a little break from making all the berry stitch. Just simply make sure you work one single crochet into the top of each stitch. So if you wanna see where I'm inserting my hook, I am inserting under both little Vs. So the berries are only poking out on one side of the blanket and the back side of your blanket is really quite flat. And I will, I'll show you the back side at the end of this video. Okay, now make sure that you don't forget this very last single crochet. Sometimes it can be buried down on the side. We wanna make sure we get that last stitch. Okay, chain one and turn. Now for this row, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. Let's always start our row with a single crochet. And now work a berry stitch. Do you guys get the hang of these? I'm finding that the Susan Bates hook really does a good job at grabbing the yarn for me. So if you are struggling, that might be something you can think about doing. Okay, and I said I was gonna change my hook size and I haven't done that yet. But it's kind of feeling like on this little sample I'm doing okay. But as I did my, you know, a larger sample, that's when I think I wanted the tension just a little bit looser, so I changed hook size. But again, I'm gonna leave that up to you. See, you'll just get kind of a little rhythm going once you get the hang of that stitch. Okay, remember that you always begin and end each row with a single crochet. I, this blanket kind of has a built-in border to it. We're not adding a border after we're finished or anything. We will be completely done because we're gonna have two rows of this berry stitch across the bottom and then two rows going up the side. Okay, so always after a row of berry stitch, just simply work single crochet into each and every stitch across the row. Okay, because it's so important to begin and end each row with a single crochet and keep our counting just so, I was thinking of a tip I wanted to give you with a stitch marker. So after you chain one and turn, make your very first single crochet and then go ahead and insert that stitch marker underneath the two little Vs. And then you'll know for sure that that's the last single crochet of the round. Okay, so now we're ready to start the window pane part. Single crochet, berry stitch, single crochet, and berry stitch. We just want two. Now we are going to put seven single crochets in between that last berry stitch and the next one. So here's three, four, five, six, Seven, and I always like to double check and then do a berry stitch. A 
a single crochet and a berry. Now work seven single crochets. And that should give us four stitches left where we'll do a berry. Single. A single. There we go. Okay. One row of single crochet. And let me show you what I do with the stitch marker. It just, it really is helpful to identify that that's that last. But another, another way is also you can now kind of see that it's just two berries on the end and make sure you get that single crochet. There we go. So we're gonna build that up and copy that exact row, what we just did. Single crochet, berry, single crochet, berry, seven single crochets. All right, so you are going to just keep repeating that pattern of a, a berry row with a row of single crochet. And I am putting eight rows before I go back, and actually this is, you're looking at it upside down, before I go back and add the berry row where there every other one and that's it. This is the top of my blanket, the sides of my blanket. You, you can see more pictures on our website and I will have the link for you down in the descriptions if you're only seeing this on YouTube. And of course you can print off the free uh, PDF for this so that you can ha also have the companion written pattern. But it's really a lot simpler than than you think. It's just the two stitches and it just is elegant. So here is what the back looks like, if you're wondering. Um, you can just see a little bit of a subtle, subtleness to the pattern and it's just so, so beautiful. I really am a, I'm going to make a lot, I think, of my blessing blankets out of this Peyton's Grace because either this or Bernat Softy Cotton, I'm going to highly recommend. It just is such an elegant, beautiful finish. And this is, of course, when I say blessing blanket, this is a christening blanket. It's, it depends on what religion you are, what you call it, but it, whatever, it will become a family heirloom and um, passed down. So I'm glad to have this beautiful yarn to work with. So anyway, the baby's not born yet. It is August 9th, 2022. So if you happen to see this video later, I'll, hopefully this little guy will be here. So of course, check back on daisyfarmcrafts.com for any updates that you need. Okay, you guys, good luck with your blanket. Have a good day.